talk a little bit about throwing, right? So a lot of us, you know, we grab a hold of our partner and we start yanking and, and pulling, and, and that's fine if you're bigger and stronger than the other guy. But usually if somebody attacks you, they're going to be bigger, right? They're, they're attacking you because they at least think that they have an advantage. Okay, so when I'm talking about throwing somebody, one of the simplest things is I treat him like my friend, and I hug him, I embrace him, and then I just move. Okay, so for example, right, let's imagine that, let's start a little, more, a little closer, it's more realistic than, than sort of this sort of, sort of thing. And he throws that punch at me, whoa, crap. Well, and now I'm very close, and I just, I embrace him, and I turn my hips, and then I go about my business. Right? I can hit him again if I want, or I can just walk away. Uh, if we're clinched up, okay, I'm just going to drive in and, and hug him. Okay, now in this case, he's kind of, I kind of moved him back so I can just step forward and throw him. Right? But let's assume that he doesn't you know, just tip over that easy. I'm going to come in and hug him. Right? And now I'm going to turn and throw. Right? And I'm just, I'm just holding on to him. I'm not adding with my my hands, I just turn my body. And some of you already know this from, you know, if I make this very formalized kata looking. Right? We've, we've shown this technique before. Right? I just connect and turn. Okay? And even if I don't throw him, go ahead and stand up. Okay? Even if I don't throw him, I have compromised his posture. I crack. I've made him shorter, and I've, I've compromised his posture. It's really hard for him to hit now. It's really easy for me to hit him. All kinds of ways.